Thanks. So although it may not really feel like it today, the summer season is here. Beachgoers head out to Lake Erie for some fun, but just like every summer, you may have to watch out for something green in the water. Meteorologist Matt Willoughby gives us an update on the Lake Erie algal bloom outlook. Harmful algae blooms have begun the talk of the summer for nearly a decade, especially as the heat cranks up. But with the lack of rain and the wildfire smoke from Canada, experts with the Great Lake Institute for Environmental Research says things are off to a slow start. We've had a dry spring, uh, and really, the uh, they can predict the approximate size of the of the coming bloom based on rainfall, the amount of nutrient loading uh, in in from the Maumee River into Western Lake Erie. That dry spring has resulted in lower than usual nutrient loading. That's the good news. But with more rain on the way, the harmful algae bloom projection could change in the coming weeks. Much of the area had had a fair amount of rain on Sunday. Uh, parts of the region have had rain, uh, uh, you know, last night into into today. You know, so there, you know, those projections will change week to week, and and uh, they're putting one one out each week. We can't forget about the water crisis of 2014, when the harmful algae bloom shut off water supply for residents all across Northwest Ohio. And experts say location is key. Maumee Bay, basically okay. where the yeah. Maumee River flows into Western Lake Erie, is typically the epicenter. Of, of the bloom and it spreads out uh, through the western basin from there. Uh, the, the Detroit River blowing into the, you know, the, the yeah. top portion of, of, of Lake Erie is a really strong, a lot of volume of water uh, flowing there. And so that often forces uh, the bloom back towards the southeastern Michigan, northwestern Ohio shoreline. The official algae bloom forecast comes out on June 29th when experts will officially be breaking down the predictions for this year's algae bloom forecast. We'll be keeping you informed so you have a safe summer on the water. Reporting in Toledo, I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby for W2All 11.